Welcome to the Promonic.net Shared Account Setup Guide. When you sign up for the shared server and install notes for the first time, the beginning step will be different for you. This is due to the security restriction that we have in place preventing shared customers from viewing the names of NSF database on the server. This database is used during a typical installation. The key differences between a shared install of notes and an install with our shared server is the manual installation of TCP port and the configuration of your location document. We will begin this guide with the assumption that Notes has already been installed. If you need assistance with this installation, please refer to our video, Installing Notes 8.5. First, you'll be greeted with the Client Configuration Wizard. On the first screen, you'll need to enter in your full name, and remove the check mark that you want to connect to a Domino server. Here, click Finish. For us, this concludes the Client Configuration Wizard. Once Notes is launched, the first step will be to create the TCP IP port to be used. Go to File, Preferences, and then Notes Ports off to the left. Click on the New button and type in the name TCP IP. Make sure that you're using the driver TCP and check mark to use the location document online. Next we'll set up the location document. Click on locations, online, and edit. In the first screen you'll need to enter in your internet mail address. Then move on to the Servers tab and type in your server that has been assigned to you. You need to do this for the Home Mail server, the Catalog Domain Search server, and the Domino Directory server. Next, on the Ports tab, you'll see that the port has not been installed yet. We'll do this later when we reboot Notes. Move on to the Mail tab, and you'll need to enter in your mail file. This is typically your customer ID number, forward slash, mail in lowercase, forward slash, and your first and last name with an underscore and proper casing. Please ensure that you're using the on-server mail file location if you have a steady LAN connection. If you're using a laptop, you can use local, which will create a local database of your mail file. Once done, click OK. As you can see here, it warns you that some preferences, being the port installation, will not take into effect until the next time the program is started. Now we need to switch the ID. Go to File, Security, Switch ID. We recommend placing the ID that we generate for you on the desktop so it's easily located for this step, as you can see here. Once your ID file has been accepted, close and then relaunch notes. After notes has been reopened, verify that you have properly configured your notes client by opening your mail file. If your mail file successfully opens, it means that your location document is valid 
and they're using the proper ID. This concludes the Prominent.net Shared Server Account Setup Guide. If you have any complications, please let us know at Prominent.net and you can email us at support at Prominent.net.